This cube has been soldered together from 12 identical resistors, 1 kilo ohm each. There are some wonderfully constructed problems dealing with such a cube. Whoever manages to solve them will thoroughly understand the topic of electric circuit calculations. I attach two alligator clips to the opposite vertices of the cube. The question is, what will ohmmeter resistance readings be with this kind of connection? When one is used from his school days to applying the formulas for adding up parallel and series resistance, at first it's hard to understand how it can be done in this case. But one should remember that these formulas do not appear out of nowhere. They emerge from the reasoning on how current streams distribute in circuit branches and how voltage distributes in circuit nodes. Let us consider that one alligator clip has been grounded and some ground reference voltage has been applied to the other one. Since a cube is a symmetrical figure with equal resistance in all its edges, the resistance will be equal in the three nodes closest to the first clip. In the other three nodes, closest to the second clip, the voltage will also be equal. In this case, and it's the main idea for solving the problem, one can short-circuit the nodes with equal voltage by interconnecting them. We stretch the cube, pulling at the opposite nodes which have alligator clips on them. Now we can solder together both groups of three nodes and the circuit becomes so much simpler that we can calculate it with the help of the simplest formulas. If one resistor's resistance equals 1 kilo ohm, then the resistance in the first group of three resistors in parallel will equal one third of a kilo ohm. It will be one sixth of a kilo ohm in this group and one third of a kilo ohm in that one. We add those up consecutively and get total circuit resistance, which is five fifths of a kilo ohm or 833 ohms. Our calculations are splendidly confirmed when we apply a multimeter. Circuit resistance here is 834 ohms, which nearly coincides with theoretical prediction. Let's verify our calculation technique in another problem. We connect the alligator clips to the opposite vertices of the same face of the cube. The question is, what resistance readings will the ohmmeter display with this type of connection? Again, let us look at the cube and reason. The four marked nodes are equidistant from both clips, so their voltage will be equal, and thus we may short-circuit them. What's more, these two resistors connect points of equal voltage, so no current will stream through them, and we can mentally remove them. We stretch the cube again for visual clarity, and thus the equal voltage nodes are placed close to each other. Now we solder together the nodes with equal voltage and remove the non-operating resistors. We indicate the resistance of double parallel resistors. They all equal half a kilo ohm. The upper group resistance equals one kilo ohm. The lower group resistance equals three kilo ohms. Let us write down the formula for a series connection of the two groups. 1 divided by R equals 1 divided by 1 kilo ohm plus 1 divided by 3 kilo ohms. It gives us 4 thirds, which means R equals 3 fourths of a kilo ohm, that is 750 ohms. Again, we check it with a multimeter, and again we get very nearly the result we expected to get 751 ohms. Here's a problem to solve on your own. What will be the readings of a multimeter if we connect it to the ends of the same face of the cube? Write your answers in the comments to this video on YouTube.